Hey everyone, so let's get out ahead of the price gouging discussion before hurricane season gets into high gear. We all know what we're going to hear, that price gouging takes advantage of people and takes advantage of a crisis, but I'm going to explain exactly how price gouging is actually helpful. It seems counterintuitive, but it is true. First of all, let's establish who we're dealing with here. We are dealing with people with nothing but uncertainty on their minds, and that is completely natural when it comes to large destructive events like hurricanes. But given that these hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, have uncertainty on their minds, in what way might this influence their behavior? It might cause them to go to the store and buy far more than what they need. These people are uncertain of how long they're going to be holed up for. They're uncertain of when they're going to be able to restock their supplies. They're uncertain of when help may come for them. Given all this uncertainty, if they are the first to the store and thanks to anti-price gouging laws, all the prices are low, guess what they get to do? They get to buy as much as their vehicles can hold. This will dwindle the supply of these goods and pretty soon the shelves will be bare and no one can get anything no matter what the prices are because it's all gone. If prices are artificially held low by anti-price gouging laws, this incentivizes people to not conserve on how much they're buying or consuming. If I had a family and a hurricane was on its way, and I go to the store and I see prices are as low as ever, I will have no incentive to conserve. I will buy non-perishable food items and bottled water by the cart load. Now if prices are higher because of the impending hurricane, I might have to consider conserving what I am purchasing. It's not a great scenario, but having to conserve what I'm consuming because prices are high is a far better situation than walking into a store with empty empty shelves. Now what else does price gouging do? It also incentivizes people in preparing further in advance. If you think you're going to be able to walk into a store with low prices during a hurricane, you have no incentive to prepare. But if you say to yourself, you know, prices will probably be hiked up in a month due to hurricane season, so I may want to go now and buy non-perishable food items and bottled water, well then you've prepared in advance and stores have time to restock. The only reason to plan ahead with anti-price gouging laws in effect is if you understand that prices won't raise during an emergency, which means everything will be gone and there will be only dust left on the store shelves. So you may want to go buy what you'll need now because you understand how anti-price gouging laws actually screw everything up. And therein lies the entire point. This, along with most everything else the government does, is rife with unintended consequences. I can see very clearly why they think what they do is noble and benevolent, but all it does is screw up market forces, causes shortages, and the only people who benefit are those who get to the stores first and buy everything up at those low prices. But then again, would they really benefit too? They would just end up with a basement filled to the brim with non-perishable food and bottled water, while everyone else is left staring at a pretty good looking price tag with a low number on it, but it's for a product, unfortunately, that no longer exists at the store because the government was trying to protect you. But that's all for now. Thank you and thanks for subscribing. I hit 200 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. So if you haven't already, hit that button. Thanks.